Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy the boss streams, welcome back to another Madden 16 video. Here, this will be another ranked draft, it will be a full draft. Last video I didn't get as much likes as I thought it would. Maybe I should do it, dim the likes a little bit, maybe to 5 likes on the post, a gameplay and so on and so on. See what happens there, I keep forgetting that, I'm not one of the major people and... I'm just doing it for fun. So anyway, let's get straight into the draft. We got our three tickets. Last draft we did win six games. But here we go with the coaches, the New England coach, Rex Ryan and Chuck Panago. Panago? Yeah, that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure he's how you say it. We will go with they are both three four, but we will go with Patriots because I'm pretty sure I know the Patriots defensive play, but pretty well hoping to do. Round number one, Hart, Clinton Dix, Ryan Matthews and Eric Wood. Clinton Dix is a bit too slow. Ryan Matthews, I think we'll get a better running back down the line, so we will go with Eric Wood. At least we've got a decent centre. I've never really used him. Uh, Mike Lapati, Alshon Jeffrey and JPP. Uh, clearly, I'm a Giants fan. I've got to go with JPP. I think he's decent. Decent for the run. Uh, Brandon Merriweather, Carney Upshaw, and uh, D'Amico Ryans. Merriweather slow and Ryans are slow, so we may as well go with Upshaw. Round number four, we've got Dante Hightower, John McCoy, and Orlando Skandrick. Dante Hightower is decent all around. Again, he's only got 82 speed, I think that was, or 83 speed. Not the fastest, but I'm sure he'll do better than whoever was there. Round number five, we've got Justin Durant, Alex Boone and uh, Joseph Randall. I think we're going to upgrade our O-line a bit more, so we're going to get Alex Boone. Hopefully we'll get some good receivers and stuff. Uh, here we go with Marcus Gilchrist, Janarius Jenkins and Jamie Collins. We've already got someone, we've got Upshaw, not the best, but we're going to get a cornerback. He's got 91 speed. So that's going to keep up with the majority of receivers on the draft. Here we go with Jordan Matthews, Greg Oslin and Don Terry Poe. Straight away we see Jordan Matthews, a 6 foot 3 and 92 speed. That's an automatic in my team because he's just going to be one of those deep threats and he's tall as well. So here we go with Eli Manning, Charles Tillman and Theo Reddick. How much I love Eli Manning, I'd love to use him but... We have to win the games, so I'm going to go with Theo Riddick. Hopefully we'll get a better quarterback. Uh, Kyle Williams, Jimmy Smith and Thomas Davis. We could get another cornerback. Or we've already got a left outside linebacker. So I'm going to go with Kyle Williams. Just get that D-tackle. A really good D-tackle. He's a bit slow, but he'll block it up. Joe Flacco, Vernon Davis, our Marquis Pouncer. Let's look at Joe Flacco's stats. The stats are alright, but they're not the best. 82 shot. Uh, are we going to get a better one? We're going we're gonna to risk it and we're going to go with Vernon Davis. That 89 speed. Round number 11, William Gage, Charles Woodson and Raymar Luger. We need a good middle linebacker that I can use it, so I'm going to get Raymar Luger. Round number 12. We got Lance Briggs, Rob Nikovic, and Sam Shields. Sam Shields has got that speed. Nikovic is really slow, and Lance Briggs. We've already got Dante Hightower, so the only the best option is Sam Shields. Round number thirteen. Finally, getting us some elites: Adrian Peterson, Terrell Suggs, and Vontae Davis. We've already got two cornerbacks, so I don't see why we need Vontae Davis, and we've already got a vice outside linebacker. So we may as well get AP. And again, back to back rounds of elites: Von Miller, Cam Johnson, and Josh Norman. That like Josh Norman's looking really good. If he didn't have two cornerbacks already, probably would have got him. Just for the sake of using them, I've never used them, but we do need some safeties, so we have to go with Cam, six foot three. And finally, we got John, John Randall, Zach Thomas, and Joey Porter. I'm really hyped about Zach Thomas. I've never used him before. His stats look absolutely beast. He's a bit slow, but his other stats definitely make up for it. It's the highest card we've ever used, the best legend we've ever used as well. So we're definitely going to go with Zach Thomas. Like I said, five likes and I'll definitely post gameplay with this guy. I want to see how he plays, if he's bad or good. I've not really, not really seen reviews on him. So let's see how he plays. This is the offense. Not, not very good to be honest. It's mainly AP and Jordan Matthews that we'll be looking for. 
maybe Vernon Davis on the slant routes normally because middle linebackers are normally under tight ends. So I'm Vernon Davis has got that speed. This is our defense. Again, we were just trying to see what we can do with Zach Thomas. His stats are absolute beast. The highest card I've used, highest overall card I've used. Uh, we also got Kyle Williams, uh, Cam Chancellor, and Dante Hightower. These are our specialists. Don't know why Theo Vidic's on the kick return, so let's quickly change them. So Kareem Martin, he's a bit faster. Because, yeah, I may as well. There we go. Thanks for watching. Again, five likes, and I'll post gameplay. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.